Previously on Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay gave Melissa one more chance. You are going in the men's team. Then he challenged the teams to be creative with lobsters. Oh my god. I just hate being responsible for killing something. Both teams impressed Chef Ramsay. Very tough call. But when the red team won, well done. Yeah! Rock was furious. I'm pissed off. That was the dumbest decision I've seen. And when the blue team found out their punishment, Rock got even angrier. We gotta go through trash? Go through no trash? Guys. The red team was rewarded with a photo shoot for In Touch magazine. Cheers to the hotties of Hell's Kitchen. Then, at dinner, the red team of Jen. Potatoes are perfect. Thank you. Bonnie. Nicely cooked the Wellingtons. Thank you, Chef. And Julia. Has a lovely color on the scallops. Thank you, Chef. Had their best service yet, but it was a completely different story for the blue team. Oh, no. Josh was in the weeds. He's like he's pouring into the bowl. Brad hit his low point. It's been your worst service. And Melissa's new surroundings didn't keep her from screwing up. It looks like regurgitated dog off. Oh. At elimination, Chef Ramsay didn't hesitate. Melissa, take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. And so, it was Melissa's dreams of running a restaurant in the Green Valley Ranch Resort and Spa that went up in flames. <laughs> now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Unbelievable. I can't believe that that happened so fast. Melissa was gone. It was like when you watch a movie and like some main character that you're not expecting to die, like dies within the first five minutes, and you're just like, what? With the teams again divided into men and women, the battle of the sexes is heating up. Melissa, she just crumbled. I think if we were three and she was still over there, it would have been better. I don't feel bad for Melissa. Rock is one person closer to the prize. Yo, it's three on three. It's, it's game time, that's it. This is like beyond game time. They act so cocky. And then we like go in there and I just the, feel so good about that. We're the underdogs though, you know? It gives me hope knowing that I'm going up against two sous chefs and one executive chef and I'm kind of kicking their ass. Can't lose. Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Look around. There's only six of you left, and it's pretty obvious that the battle of the sexes is going to continue. I need all of you to take it to the next level. This morning's challenge is a completely different challenge. We're going to be working with leftovers. This is a test that I give every chef that steps in my kitchen, turning leftovers into something stunning. Each team will prepare three dishes, one appetizer and two entrees from a tray of leftover ingredients. You've all got 30 minutes to do that. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. For today's challenge, Chef Ramsay has given the teams identical trays of leftovers, which include white wine, spaghetti, vegetable stock, beef, and chicken. Chicken stock, we have lobster heads, we can make a nice lobster stock, what are those? Each team has just 30 minutes to decide how to best utilize the leftovers to prepare one appetizer and two entrees. I'll take and, chicken. Okay, you need to get that ASAP. You want to take the, the beef or the fish? I'll do the, uh, I'll do the fish. First thing I thought was sauce with that fish, sauce with the pot, boom, boom. I just started putting ingredients together. Anybody want to use cross-utilized product? Do like a surf and turf? Yeah, we need to do that. The blue team is off and running, but the red team is stalled at the gate. Why don't we make like a, a lobster stock, like a, a stew? Let's do meat and potatoes. OK, but we How do we do, do meat and potatoes? What if we did pepper crusted, like seared beef on a, mm. on a bed of, no? Bonnie was like, you know, we can do this or we can do that, you know, and 
I was trying to think of stuff. It was hard. We got to think of something to do. Um, Use the time wisely, ladies, yes? Um, God, this is hard. Time's going to run out, boys. We got to think about that. Yep. You do not have much time. We got to think of something with those eggs. Tear, let's do a tarragon and East Bernays. Tarragon and East Bernays. I don't have Very time disgusting. for the Bernays. We're getting down on time. Let's get everything in the pan. As the men begin cooking their food, the women have yet to decide on a single dish. Oh, I can we make can make a steak and eggs. Let's do that. All right. Here you go, baby. Ladies, move, yes? Where's the steak? Where's the steak? Josh, I've never seen you move so fast. Everybody start plating up right now. Yep. It's going to be a challenge to get the most flavor out of the little that we have. But at the same time, I'm incredibly confident that we're going to take this one and kick those girls' asses. Josh, run with that plate right Come now. In. Rock. Five, four, four, three, two, one, and stop! Okay, come round. At this point in the competition, Chef Ramsay is looking for chefs who stand out with their resourcefulness and creativity. Right, let's go. First up with appetizers, it's Bonnie versus Brad. Brad. Hey, Chef. Let's go. What is it? Curry bass with uh, crustacean tomato pasta. When Brad took his dome off, I was just like, you know, like, oh my god. I just wanted to take my little dish and just kind of slither away. Um, a lot of work has gone into that dish. Your chef. Funny. Is it a rustic tomato, uh, rustic chicken stew, chef? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's nice, it's quite fresh. Um, rustic, you're right. Yeah, very good. It's hard to identify which one was the winner, because they're both good. That one is the draw, 1-1. One, one. Thank you, Chef. After the first round, the score is 1-1. One to one. I didn't think mine was going to be a draw, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Um, I definitely thought that my, uh, my dish was uh, superior. Jen yes. and Josh. I did a classic take on um, steak and eggs for breakfast. It's like it's off Julia's menu. From you, I expect a little bit more, to be honest. Yes, Chef. Half an hour to make that. And the steak and eggs was Bonnie's idea. Oh, we make your steak and eggs. Let's do this. Oh, all right. Good. Should have said something that I wanted to do something else. OK, Josh, blow me away. Yes, Chef. What is it? We have the chicken leg and some pea tendril and stuff the inside of the chicken with it. Just taste that sauce. Highly acidic. You're a professional chef. I just, I, I expect more from you. The chicken is not cooked all the way through. The sauce is disgusting. Yeah. And it's just crap. I'm disappointed in both of you. Zero for both of you. Back in line. With no points awarded for this round, the score remains tied at one each. Now, it all comes down to the Waffle House cook versus the executive chef. Rock, please. Yes. What is it? Surf and turf with a, a petite uh, ribeye uh, and the uh, pan-seared bass. It's delicious. Thank you. You've done it with finesse. Thank you. Julia, let's go. I don't really see anything that could go wrong with my dish. Holy smoke! With the score tied one to one, Chef Ramsay has already enjoyed Rock's dish. Now it's up to Julia to impress him with hers. Julia, let's go. What is that? It's deep fried um, sea bass. So, fish and chips? Fish and chips. Especially just for me, or would you put that on the menu? I would put that on the menu. Yeah? Mm hmm. It's nice, but it's fish and chips. And we're fine dining. OK, congratulations. Men, you've won. Thank you, sir. Men, well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We won. We put the girls away, so I'm happy. That's why I can't stop smiling. Ladies, that was dull. Your punishment is going to be just that, dull, tedious, boring. You're going to give this place a really good spring clean. 
And this morning is delivery day. So uh, once you finish with the cleaning, you're going to have to unload all those deliveries. Is that clear? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Guys, all three of you have got a very, very rare opportunity. I've been in your face for the last couple of weeks. Just stop! Stop! Get it on the stove! Can we have the two main causes together? Today, it's payback time. That's right. Your first opportunity to get back at me. Our hope is figurative because, you know, I could knock his ass out. Go and get changed and meet me outside. Ladies, get cleaning. I have no idea what the guys are doing right now, but I can tell you anything is better than this. Hey. Right. I told you your dream would come true today, yes? Yes, sir. Now, uh, this is payback time, yes? We're going paintballing. <laughs> <laughs> you three guys against me, and you can shoot the hell out of me. All right. Any employee would love to have a chance to shoot their boss. I'm not talking about real shooting here. But if I get you guys, yeah, yeah. you're out. OK. Three against one. All right. All right. Do this. Thank you. Maybe I've found something that Josh is good at. <laughs> <laughs> While the guys gear up. Practice up. Check it out. Oh. Be body, baby. <laughs> and get in some target practice. The red team starts unloading deliveries. They must make sure that the orders are correct. Bonnie, you check it off. I'll carry Crap, what do you have in there? Pink snapper. Can we get turbot? Crab. Crab. Turbot. Nice. Fresh. OK. You already checked these off? Yeah. Thanks. Where's the rest of the fish? What? Oh, Bonnie. Instead of receiving the whole fish with fillets, the red team has received a box of turbo skeletons, only good for making stock. You didn't check it. Oh, Julia and Jan have to do the Bonnie. I hate feeling like I'm the dumbass. Bonnie, stop the drama. It's not the end of the world. Yes, it is. Bonnie. You guys didn't do it. It's me. The turbot has his fillets are gone. Where'd the fillets go? They're not in there. They took the fillets out and they gave us the skeletons. Did you guys even check the order at all? Let me see the order sheet. We'll go through every single thing and see how many things you guys up. While Marianne hunts down the red team's mistakes, the blue team hunts down Chef Ramsay. Hope I get at least one shot on him. If I get one shot, I'm good. I am pumped. Oh, I'm so excited to get some payback. The rules of this game are hit Chef Ramsay. Okay, guys, wakey, wakey. You bastard! Go. He's in there. Right behind you, Brett. Let's get him! Uh, now. Chef Ramsey is a quick guy. Oh my god, he's just running around. The guy's a little bit of a sniper. the knee. But you guys have been cooking snapper for how long now? Does this sca snapper come with the skin on or off? On. What it's else now? We checked in the order and it was all wrong. It was just horrible and we should have checked it better. What does that say? What kind of butter do we use? Salsa, chef. Oh! It's a close call for Rock. Oh, got me! I'm out! And now he's the sole survivor. Josh, where'd it come from? Have we got him yet? Uh oh. I'm out. I'm out. Woo! You're done. <laughs> You're fast. <laughs> got me. You got me, though. How can you do this? I'm hit you like this. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that this is one of the best rewards. Yo, yeah, good job, yeah, Josh. I get to shoot the chef today. Come on, how many people get a chance to do that? Oh, I knew that was going to be them. Timing is perfect. Hey, hey, grab some of these boxes. When we pulled up, man, it was great to see Hell's Bitches, uh, you know, lifting some boxes. 
Uh, Jens, don't you think it would be nice to give the girls a little hand? It would be. <laughs> um, fortunately, I would like to help. I, I had a, a severe back pain. I have the same problem, Jean-Philippe, and I empathize with you, so yeah. I'm going to take it upstairs. It's disgusting. I can't believe the boys didn't help you out. I can. It just sucks. I feel like an old man. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen. Come on, gentlemen. And the aspiring chefs are eager to start preparing for tonight's dinner service. Good morning. But Chef Ramsay has a surprise. OK, big day today. Tonight's service is the most serious service so far in Hell's Kitchen. Because the first time in Hell's Kitchen, Tonight's service is the most serious service so far in Hell's Kitchen. Both teams are coming up with their own menu. You will create three appetizers, three entrees, and three desserts. And tonight, the guests will order from those menus. I want to see creativity, excitement. I want to see you work as a team. Now get back to your dorms. Let's go. Each team has just one hour to create their own original menu consisting of three appetizers, three entrees, and three desserts. Yo, boys, this is it. Woo! Let's start right, okay, what are your ideas for apps? I think like an ahi tuna. What is ahi tuna? I'm worried about Julia because overall she's a Waffle House person. I mean, you need to be fine dining, you know? Three pan seared scallops with a horseradish spetzel. I'm just putting it out there, and it's a winner. Brad was taking control. He was talking a lot. I'll say that. He was talking a lot. We could go old school rustic like a Tuscan bean soup. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't think it sounds that good. Those guys are kind of on a basic level. I thought if I'm going to be here, I'm going to showcase my talent. I'm not going to just sit there and lay back and do easy things. What about if we do a macaroni and cheese? It's real fancy. We could do a little cassoulet. We call it a cassoulet, though. Not a cassoulet. As opposed to calling it this big word, call it macaroni and cheese and have it be something more elegant. It's macaroni and cheese. We call it a cassoulet, though. I want to do the New York strip steak and maybe like some cabbage. I'm just, I'll be honest, I'm not sold with the steak, man. I think putting steak on the menu is a cop out. We do have rabbit. We could do rabbit. Do we know how to cook that, though? Here. Don't look at me like that. Do you, think, do you think that's gonna be classy, though? I'm getting pissed off, you know? Our name's going out on this menu, and it better be damn good. Time may be up on designing the menus, but not everyone is satisfied with the outcome. Why are you shaking your head? Because I can. Oh, John, don't turn into a bitch now, please. Come on. Don't call me a bitch. Don't act like one. The red team must put their differences aside, at least for the moment, while Chef Ramsay approves the menus. Uh, Julia, out of all nine dishes, um, which would you say was your influence? I would say none of them were my influence. Shrimp, I mean, I really yeah. wanted to do, yeah, steak and shrimp. So you want to change that and put a steak and shrimp on there? Do it. OK. OK. That's something that I order when I go out to eat, so I think that it would be a big seller. OK, Josh, take me through the entrees, please. OK, we have um, pan-seared turbo. Uh, we're going to make a uh, wild mushroom uh, consomme. Um, sounds ambitious. Big test, this one. Yes. Yeah, are you sure you, you can pull this off? Yes, Chef, I believe we can. Yeah. OK, thank you. I think there's a very good chance the customer's going to order off our menu. All the flavors are going to come together and tune it. It's going to work well. With the menus finalized, Sense of urgency, boys. Both teams begin prepping their dishes for dinner service. With so little time, it's crucial they work together. OK, I don't think this bacon's going to stay together. What should I do? Anyone have a good idea? Anyone going to answer me? No one's talking to me anymore. You guys, you guys realize this is still a team effort right now. Chef, yeah. it's fine. All right. If I make a friend, that's great. And if not, that's fine, too. Like, I am just here to compete. I feel like Jen and I have developed a friendship. Maybe she's not the nice person I thought she was. I can't, I can't work with her like this. OK, Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen. Let's go.
Tonight in Hell's Kitchen, each customer will get to choose from either the red or blue menu. The red team's menu will feature classic dishes, a New York strip steak from Julia, a seared ahi tuna from Jen, and Bonnie's bacon-wrapped leg of rabbit. The blue team's menu will feature sophisticated lamb chop with herbed gnocchi, and Brad's sautéed chicken breast with truffle cassoulet. I think the red menu looks the best for sure. Yes, the red menu, please. Okay, guys, let's go. Who's gonna get the first ticket? <clears throat> An order, four covers, table one. Two tuna, one rabbit. Yes, yes chef. chef. I'll be choosing from the red menu. From the yes. Hey guys, yes, clearly the ladies' menu is far more appealing because this is a joke. Red team again. Orders are pouring in for the red kitchen. Now all they have to do is cook them. Um, chef, I'm gonna need like five minutes on this rabbit. It's nowhere near done. Whose rabbit dish is this, by the way? It was a collaboration, chef. Bonnie, get on top of this, please, yeah? I'm not slowing it down now. Yes, chef. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna flip out. He didn't know I had to make this damn rabbit. This was Bonnie's idea. She thought it was like a chicken drumstick. Why don't you seal the rabbit off? Why don't you get a pan and just seal them off? Has anyone want to use their brain a little bit? Yes, Chef. I just can't believe I'm getting screwed like this, dude. This is ridiculous. I can't do it for you. Yes, yes? Chef. Your menu, my standards. Let's yes, go. Chef. Come on. I'll go with blue. Please, All right, I'm going to order off the blue menu. Uh Half an hour into dinner service, orders are finally coming into the blue kitchen. Thank God we're getting some blue in. At long last, one pear salad, two short ribs, one raviolis. Be careful, yes? Yes, sure. chef. Service. And thanks to Brad. Pick up, please. Go to ravioli. Appetizers are going out. Ravioli, please. Yes, sure. chef. Let's go, please. You know where you're going, yes? And coming back. Oh, no, Jean-Philippe, not tonight. What is going on? If he found his ravioli cold, he would like to have a shrimp salad from the blue side instead. Brad, stone cold ravioli, shrimp salad away, urgently. Yes, chef. Stone cold, Brad. Unbelievable. I know how to cook pasta. I know how to cook perfect pasta. But uh, my nerves got to me. It is harder than it looks. Trust me, it is. This is your menu here. Now concentrate, Brad. Yes, chef. Unbelievable. While Brad starts over with his ravioli, Julia is finally ready with her rabbit appetizer. Hallelujah. Rabbit, please. Yes, chef. Let's go. Service. Come on, Julia, keep it going, please, yes? OK, ladies, this is our chance. One more tuna away, please, yes? Yes, chef. With Jen's help, appetizers are moving quickly out of the red kitchen. The bacon wrap, rabbit leg. That was like the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. And the red team moves on to entrees. I order two cups of table 12, yes? Main course, one New York strip. I order four cups of table 22, the entree. New York strip, medium, please. Main course, two New York strip, one medium, one well done. Let's go. Everyone's going for the red so far, yes? Yes, they fancy the New York strip. They fancy the New York strip. One New York strip again. While the red team tries to keep up with demand for Julia's New York strip steak, the blue team is finally ready for entrees. On order, four covers, table 11. Main course, three lamb. Lamb requested medium. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Pan got to be hotter than that. That pan's hot. Just watch. I know everybody's kind of snapping at each other. Let's just get through this. We'll be all right. I just don't want to, you know, to bleed out or anything like that. Brad said something, well, let's not start bickering. I said, I'm not bickering. I don't want the meat to get sent back. While the blue team argues, Julia is ready with her New York strip steak. Steak, please. Ba -ba -ba. Woo, that's hot. Size those portions. They're going to come back to your restaurant, aren't they? The steak's amazing, though. No? Keep it going, Julia. You're doing a great job. I'm happy that a lot of the customers order the New York steak. Sometimes I do know what's best, although I'm not culinary arts. Julia and her steaks are exceeding expectations. Now Chef Ramsay is waiting for Josh to impress him with his lamb. Where's the lamb? How long, please? How long, please? Lamb coming right now, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Hey, you. Hey, donkey. Yes, Chef. One's nicely cooked, yeah, colored. One's boiled off, will you? So we're under pressure now, and this is where it separates a chef from a donkey. Come here, let me tell you something. Yes, 
chef. Let me tell you something, you're here. You can't cook. That's what's just been confirmed to me. Good to go? We're coming, Rock. Yeah, you're coming. So's your elimination. Tonight, it's red menu versus blue menu, and all the orders are in, with 52 for the red team and 48 for blue. Now, if Josh could just get out the blue kitchen's first entree. We're coming, Rock. Yeah, you're coming. So's your elimination. Come round. Just look what we're doing here, you donut. Look, boiled, 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 boiled. Donkey! The chef. I expected perfect. Right now, we're serving all the red, and you're way behind. Garnish for five lamb, garnish for three chicken. Go on, three lamb first, slow down. Three lamb first. Let's go check by check. That's what happens when we start the pan. Once that lamb started going away, we freaked out. We freaked out. Hey, Josh. Yes, chef. I wouldn't trust you with a hot dog stand. Yes, chef. With Josh's lamb stalling the blue kitchen and entrees moving steadily out of the red kitchen. Service, please. Customers sitting at the same table are having completely different dining experiences. I'm still waiting for my entree. I'm almost done with mine. The gentleman is served before the lady. I know, I know. I do apologize. Yeah. Chef, well, the lady's offended because the gentleman was served before the lady. Hey, Josh! Yes? The gentleman got served his steak for the lady. How long for the lamb? Coming down. Asparagus. Coming up. No, hey, hey, Josh! Hey, chef! That lamb is rare! Yes, chef! You're in the big boy. Yes, I am, chef. Get yourself out of it! Yes, chef! If Josh can't handle tonight, he definitely can't handle Vegas, baby. That's what I've been trying to say. Rock! And Brad, can someone give him some help? Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, you cannot turn your back on this one. Yes, sir. I couldn't go in there and help him out. Brad was right there. What are these, three people over there? Brad. Yes, chef. All you've been doing is prepping lamb. It seems like we've sort of given up on Josh. Yes, chef. Get him out of the and try and win something back, yes? Yes, chef. I will need some major help coming up, all right? Huh? Nobody's coming over to help. What's going on? You know, everything just got held up, and it sucked. You know, trust yourself to get yourself out. With Josh left to fend for himself, Chef Ramsay turns to the red kitchen to see what teamwork is all about. One turbot, two ozabuco, one lamb. Where the f is Jen? Jen wants to clear down. Yes, Chef. Get on service. Get on service. My yes, advice chef. to you. You're like this. Oh, here we go. Clean, clean, clean. And he, like, makes fun of me. He says, Ooh, you know, you walk around like this all the time. I do not. Jen, don't stand there looking all sad like a little lonely puppy. Just get a rip and wake up. Back in the blue kitchen, Josh is hoping the third time is the charm for his lamb. How long for that three lamb? Just go, just go. I'll go right behind you. Go. Chef, medium, medium rare. That's perfect. The chef. Absolutely beautiful. Service, please. Right, we're back together now. Come on, Josh. You're on your way. Don't stop now. It's coming down. Despite the lack of help from his team, Josh manages to catch up with his entrees. Let's go, guys. Service, please. Yes. How long, please? Two turbot. Just come right now. Brad. Yes, chef. Have we got flavor in the consomme? Yes, chef. A lot of flavor. Service, please. Go, 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 go. Come on, guys. With the blue team caught up, Chef Ramsay is eager to keep the red kitchen on track. Let me just tell you something. They've overtaken you now. Three turbots, one New York strip. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. You're cooking, and gas is not even on. Oh, is it? Oh. Don't panic, Bonnie. If we go at your pace, we're no one's going to get fed. Let's go. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, Chef. Hey, Missy, turn the gas on. It would help. I couldn't get caught up, and I wasn't even sure what the orders were anymore. You can't do it on your own. No, Chef. I'm tired of being told that I'm incompetent. It's just rough. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's two and a half hours into dinner service, and nearly all of the blue team's entrees have gone out. It's very bland. Very bland. But some are coming back. Two lamb, one turbo, yeah, urgently, yes? Bland, bland and salty, Chef. Oh. No. Oh, come on. Brad, come here. 
Okay, let's do a taste test then. It looks like baby vomit. Tastes like <laughs> Bovril. Hey, Brad, start again. Yes, chef. Oh, off. Back in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is looking for the final entrees. Where is the New York strip? Where is it's here. Where is the garnish for the New York strip? Yeah, Chef, it's coming. I burnt it. I have to start over. She burnt it. Here we go. I, I really need to do meat and fish, because I'm confused now. Too many people are trying to do one thing, and then we're not talking to each other about who's doing what. Then everything just gets messed up. Let me see this. I'm going to put, I just need, I need shrimp for the steak. Hello, hey, 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 hey. We haven't got the garnish now. The team's not working together, and I'm getting a little bit pissed now. Not one of you talking. See what's happening? Yes, yeah, sure. You're just screwing your I see what's happening. No one's even talking to each other. It's three hours into dinner service, and the red team's poor communication has stalled their final entrees. Can you see what's happening? Yes, yeah, sure. No one's even talking to each other. What a shame. Why is no one concentrating? Why is it so hard? I don't have a good answer. No. Ladies, let's just get it out. Bonnie, we going. We got going. potatoes. Now you're finally talking. The women finally managed to pull together long enough to finish their entrees. The blue team quickly serves their desserts. Service, please. Great service, Thank you. And completes dinner service. Thanks for welcome, Good job, fellas. Meanwhile, the communication breakdown on the red team has returned. I don't know what tables we're on because you guys aren't talking to me okay. and I can't do anything. Don't blame it on me. What? Don't blame I'm me. I'm not blaming you. I'm just telling you, can you talk to me? Honey, I'm Jen, doing all LA. all over the place. I know, but I don't know what else to do. One of us is going home tonight. You know that. Whatever. Both teams have completed dinner service, but this is Hell's Kitchen, and no one is feeling safe. We definitely lost. I'm definitely out of here. Ladies, none of you had stamina. Those last four tables were embarrassing. Men, you weren't a team tonight. Josh, clearly a disaster. But the one issue that I'm not comfortable with is how Brad and you, Rock, didn't come to his aid. No one jumped on that section and pulled it back. No one. And you may think that it was him that suffered. The only people that suffered were the customers. There's no winning team. The one individual that sort of was consistent, that impressed me the most, was Julia. Julia, well done. Not one steak came back. But what scares me is that dish was so nearly not on the menu, yet it's turned out to be the most popular. Thank you, Chef. Think seriously about one member of your team that you want to put up for elimination. Guys. Work as a team. Come up with one name that's up for elimination this evening. Back to the dorms. Chef. Chef Ramsay, you know, recognized what I was doing in that kitchen because I really was working hard. So what are y'all thinking? It's me, right? I haven't decided nothing yet. Jen, she's great. She knows how to cook, and she knows, like, her food really well. I think I make kick-ass dishes. I think that uh, my creativity supersedes what I can do in the kitchen. Bonnie is cool, you know, and Bonnie knows her food, but I think Bonnie could be just a little stronger on execution. At this moment, I do not know who I'm going to put up there. I have a great mind and a great you know, tongue for stuff like this, but actually cooking it, huge problem. <laughs> if I go up on the chopping block, I hope Josh gets nominated on the boys' side because I think I have the best chance of staying. For you guys, I might be the easy decision, but I'm just tired of being the weapon boy. I don't think I should go, so I think it should be one of you two. I don't want myself to go, so I mean, I'm not, you know what I mean? That's, that's just the way it is. I mean, none of us want to go. I'm seriously tired of being the 
weapon boy for this team. I mean, I've been put up there so many times. I just don't think I deserve it. Again, pissed at being a whipping boy on this team. If Josh stopped messing up, he wouldn't have to worry about being our scapegoat or being ragged on or anything like that. He'd just be good. I'll be right back. Are you bitter that Rock chose you a bunch of times? I'm not bitter. It's here's the deal. I feel like I think if you voted me a bunch of times, I'd be bitter. Every time Josh has been nominated, he's been nominated by Rock. So um, if he is a whipping boy, he's basically Rock's whipping boy. We have to come up with a collective decision on who's going up there. Julia. Yes, sir. Your nominee and why, please? My nominee is Bonnie, Chef. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I think that she has great culinary experience, but I believe that when it comes to actually getting the food out, that's where she lacks. Brad, your uh, team's nominee and why, please? Uh, chef, the team's nominee is myself. As Bonnie expected, Julia has nominated her for elimination. But the men have done the unexpected by nominating Brad. Brad, nominated you. They nominated me, yes, chef. Why? Uh, they, they thought I took a little too much control over the menu. Rock. Yes, sir. Is that right? Not exactly. We voted on it, chef. He tried to take the leadership reins today. We think that that led us to be unsuccessful. Bonnie, Brad, step forward. Brad. Yes, Chef. How'd you feel? I think I could have been either the savior or the martyr. I try to go full force, and I, yeah. you know, I try to have the to do a lot of stuff. When other, you know, when some people, you know, kind of wait in the winds, or everybody else kind of just say my name. You should just say my name. That's all. If you're talking about me waiting in the wings, say Rob. I thought I'd be politically correct about it. Oh, there ain't no politically correct. We're trying to win a competition. Say my name. Good to see team spirits are high as always. Why should you stay? I think I'm remotely good at what I do. I think if, if there is a restaurant to give out, I think I could run that restaurant correctly. I try to take uh, a leadership role, and I try to put myself out there. No matter if I win, lose, I try to do my best. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I know I have a good palate. I'm very creative. I think I have all of the makings to be a great chef. I just need more time in the kitchen to keep executing. I was really expecting more tonight from both teams. Stone cold, Brad. This is your menu here. Now concentrate, Brad. The yes, chef. Buddy. Yes, chef. You're cooking and your gas is not even on. Person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Bonnie. Wake up, Brad. Take your jacket off. You're leaving Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, I was looking for a leader, and all you were was a cook. The chef. Rock and uh, Josh know that I'm the better chef. And I think it was their decision to vote me off because I was the biggest competition. You know, I, I, I still think I'm the best. Bonnie, back in line. Remember one thing. To be successful as an individual, you have to be successful as a teammate first. Don't forget that. I really thought I'd be going home tonight. Chef has given me yet another chance. He's shown me that he definitely thinks that there's something there, otherwise he wouldn't keep me around. This is cutthroat. I have to do what I need to do to win. I can do it. Good night. I know my chances are up, and I got a performer that's that, and I got to be ready. Still here. What's up, y'all? 
Brad was a hard worker. Unfortunately, he worked with his back rather than his brain. He lacked finesse to become a great chef. Congratulations, the winner of tonight's Hell's Kitchen sweepstakes is... Next time on Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay has a surprise for the two teams. There's no red team, there's no blue team. You're now one team. And the final five are challenged to impress some VIPs. If it's Mariah, I will pee my pants. At dinner, Chef Ramsay is looking for a perfect service from the finalists. Wellington's nicely cooked. Thank you, Chef. But Jen and Rock butt heads. Why are you acting like this? You're 30 years old. Don't do that. Don't do that. Josh pushes Chef Ramsay's buttons. How many of you do this? Look at all those pants. You're useless. Julia melts down. Where is the garnish? Your body language has given up. And one chef. Shut the up doesn't even make it through dinner service. Get out! Get out! Who will lose their chance to run a restaurant in the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas? I'm disappointing myself. I'm disappointing my family. Next time on Hell's Kitchen.